Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome back to Technode Firmacraft. So I'm out here by the river south of the base, and I have been doing a little bit of work out here. I've been laying out uh, the path that runs up to the base, and I kind of decided on where I was going to be putting the sequoia farm, but also I have removed an absolute huge amount of grass. Now, I don't know if there's any way to limit the growth of grass, but my gosh, that stuff gets annoying. But I have cleared a whole bunch of it out. I also found what would appear to be a couple of uh, more hematite deposits down here. So if we take a look at the map, and I need to actually change this. So I'm trying to come up with some names for some of the features in the area. So if you guys have any ideas for names of like the rivers or lakes, ravines, anything that's a notable feature here on the map, go ahead and leave that in the comments or join me in one of my live streams and maybe we can come up with that stuff. But yeah, we have a couple of hematite deposits here, I'm pretty sure, because we have hematite here and we have it here and there's no way those two are that close together or that there's one that wide. There's definitely two deposits there. So uh, yeah, I have a feeling we're going to be setting up a mine entrance here because there is a lot of stuff in this area. We've got sphalerite, we've got hematite, we've got more hematite, we've got bismuth, we've got lead, we've got all kinds of stuff right in this area. So I think we need to set up some type of an entrance that will go down into the ground in this area and that's going to be kind of important but i need to get a bridge going across this river next and i've designed one out in creative and i have the basic resources that i need here for it plus some bricks and then some dirt for terraforming because one thing that i found was that putting the bridge deck at this height just doesn't feel right so we are going to be going up, I believe, two blocks from this height to the bridge deck. And then we're going to have three support pillars across here. One on each bank, and then one straight in the center of the river. So what I need to do right now is get a little bit of layout done here. I've got to get the actual position of the bridge this way. That rock needs to be removed. And I need to clear out a little bit of the grass on that side. So I'm going to take care of that and then I'll be back. And a little bit of terraforming done. I have found the location for the center pillar in the river. And we're going to be building some pillars over here too. But before we do that, we need to get the footing for this pillar in the center of the river. Now this is not going to be too much fun. So what we have to do is drop down underneath and place these blocks down to the riverbed. So we can't hardly see a thing down here, and we have to be really careful of our oxygen, even though it appears that our oxygen is resetting. Hmm, that is kind of odd. There are certain locations. There, see, my air just came back. There's holes in the water here or something. What is going on with that? See? That is weird. Strange and bizarre even. But now we are going to make this a little bit wider than the actual pillar. So we need to come down here. We're going to place these guys up all the way to the water's surface. And wow, it is really hard to fight the current in these rivers. So there's that part, and I've got to do this on all four sides. I'm going to have it sticking out by one block on all sides. So I'll get that done, and then I'll be back. Now that I have that center footing done for the central pillar, now we're going to make the footings on the outside for these pillars that go out here. So these are just mainly going to follow the river bank. And I've also found out something kind of interesting as I was experimenting with this in creative. 
and that is that you can actually slightly divert rivers from the streams mod. Now the way that this works is kind of annoying, but it does work. So if I wanted to, I could take this river and make it from this point go completely straight. But if I try to go beyond that point and go this way, it turns into regular source blocks of water and it doesn't work anymore. But we can divert rivers, and I find that kind of interesting, but only within a certain constraint. But uh, yeah, so we have this edge here. We're gonna do the same thing over there. And then I'm going to go right here. We're gonna dig out a couple of blocks of dirt, and then we're going to place some of these blocks in here. Now, like I said, we're going to be going above the level of the ground here. And I actually think this is the height right here, but we're gonna go two blocks above this location. So now I'm going to build these footings and actually extend the pillars up to their full height. And then we'll look at what I've got for some decorations and the uh, road deck. And now that the pillars are done, we can start the road deck. And I am going to use these marble mud bricks for the actual deck of the bridge. And then we are going to be placing some smooth marble along the edges. So what I need to do here, let's see if I can remember how I designed this. Uh, really, I can't. So I think what I'm going to do eh, is fall in the water, apparently. Been falling down here quite a bit, and it kind of stinks. But so we will have some of this smooth marble up here along the top. And we're going to extend this all the way along. But then we are going to use some carpenter's stairs upside down here. No, that's not the right way. And that's not right either that landed on top and it stayed up there so let's grab that no stop it yes like that give me that back and then what we're going to do is we are also going to use some regular carpenters blocks if I can hit this without dying and it won't let me place that. Well, darn it. Okay, well, let's bring this up here and we'll place these in here. So we're going to have two of these. And these are going to then be split into the slab version with our carpenter's hammer. And yes, I know I could do that right off the bat by changing the first one and then placing the rest but oddly enough you cannot place a carpenter's block up against a carpenter's slab i don't quite understand why they do that but yeah that's the way that it is and stop placing those the wrong way darn it so this is the completed section of the road deck here then we will continue this on and this will be on both sides and that one carpenter's block I think is long gone oh well not that expensive for those so after that we are going to do one more little decorative piece here and that is to put marble cobblestone walls on the sides of these pillars. So these just add a little bit of accent to the design, make it look a little bit neater. And one thing that I find really neat about these walls is unlike regular stone walls in vanilla, these actually connect top to bottom. And it looks like I missed one. So I need to put these into all of those. And then up here at the top, we are going to put in some upside down stairs. If, if I can stop falling off of here, it's kind of getting annoying. So these we're gonna place like this 
these are going to get the smooth marble on them. We'll go ahead and break these out. Then these are going to be half uh, blocks again. And right here we are going to put some half blocks as well for making the deck a little bit better. And then we have a full smooth marble block here and that's not what I wanted. Let's go ahead and grab the pickaxe and remove this one again. Now unfortunately this isn't going to work. So let's go ahead and... No, stop. I'm going to have to put a full block. These carpenter's blocks are kind of annoying to work with sometimes. So we get that. Then we're going to have to shift place that. And, you know, I think I'm actually a block higher than I had planned because this was actually the bottom of it there in my design. Well, that's okay. Not a big problem. We'll just extend this out further then. So, yeah. Let me extend this out. I will build this on the opposite side as well, extend it over to the other side, and then we have some terraforming to do. So I've got the bridge pretty much done. There is a couple of things that I still want to add to it, but as far as the terraforming around the bridge goes, I think I'm just going to leave it for now because I've got a much more pressing issue that we need to work on, but I figured I'd show you guys this side. So over here, we are going straight into a small lake. Now, if we take a look at the map, in this area right here, it's a little bit of a distance away from the river, but over here it is really close. And so I think what I'm actually going to do is fill in this lake because it doesn't feel right to have it there. So that will get filled in and probably built up by at least one block height in the center of this little valley. Now we do have a couple more rivers further south, more streams than rivers, that we will need to cross before we can get down into this uninterrupted area. But uh, some of those I think will just be simple stone arches and things like that. So they won't be near as big of an issue. Now the other thing that I want to look at today is this charcoal production idea. Now obviously the sequoia trees give us tons of logs. The average is around six stacks of logs per tree but it is very expensive to get the saplings. You know, we have to have two pairs of, or two ingots of black steel for four saplings. So, yeah, there's a huge amount of stuff required to do that. Now, you'll notice a few changes around here. I planted some maple and sycamore in this area. And then also, I made a place where I can go through the wall here. Now this is obviously not finished. I need to make an actual gatehouse and I think I might work on that during the live stream today. But we have something that I want to do real quickly. So we have mulch available from Technode Firmacraft. Now these are added specifically for this reason and we are going to make the oak mulch. So the oak, oak mulch takes two oak saplings, two maple saplings, two red apple saplings, and two green apple saplings. So let's go ahead and do this. I think actually the red apple needed to be there. Oak on top, maple on the bottom, and then we need a pair of black steel shears. And I guess I did have that right in the first place. So this is going to make oak mulch. Now what we can do with this oak mulch is make a solution that will turn our Technode Firmica or Terra Firmacraft oak saplings into Minecraft oak saplings. So if we look at the uses on this, we need to set this in a barrel of fresh water and it will make the oak mixture. 
this oak mixture, then we drop in a terra firma craft oak sapling and it will give us a Minecraft oak sapling. So that will eliminate the need for, oh, because we only have one mulch, we need one bucket. Okay, well, we can handle that. So let's go ahead and grab our red steel bucket. We will grab an empty barrel. Come on, give me one. No, I only want one. There, that's better. So we'll place this down, we'll grab one bucket of water, and then we'll place in our uh, mulch. Now this is going to take a full Minecraft day, so I will wait until that's done, and then we'll convert our sapling. Well, I realized shortly after I put this stuff in here that I needed two buckets of the oak mixture per uh, sapling, so I went ahead and made up a little more. We have two buckets of it. We're going to drop this in here and we will get an oak sapling. Now, I don't remember the time frame on this. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So, another Minecraft day. So, yep, I guess we're going to let that sit. Alright, so we now have our Minecraft oak sapling. So this is really nice and I got a couple of little bits of garbage to drop off here. So I've been doing a lot of work while I was waiting for that, cleaning up the base. And I think I have collected up all of the chests from places where I've been working and brought all of it over here. So yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of organization here, but we're still a long way away from being where I want to be with our storage. But so now what we can do with this is put this on the ground and of course a normal terra firma craft tree will complain that it needs days to grow. Now this thing won't be near that long and I think we might be able to use some fertilizer, uh, sylvite, uh, what do we do with this stuff? We grind it up, can we get six from the crusher? Yeah, so let's go ahead and take this stuff. I have never used sylvite. So let's go ahead and drop this in here. And I don't know what is going on with this thing. It keeps making noise and... Yeah. And it's still making noise. What on earth? There's something goofy there. Well, whatever. Yeah, I know I can't attach a wire to the same point. So let's go ahead and grab some fertilizer here. And we will see if we can use this on this tree. No, we can't. Okay, well that's fine. Just something to check on. I know that bone meal doesn't work. So, yeah. I guess I will be waiting for that tree to grow. But the biggest issue for me is that we want to make sure that we get uh, saplings from that. And so with a vanilla tree, the best way to do that is with a grafter from Forestry. Now this one uses bris uh, bronze, I'm using bismuth bronze, but it uses a bronze ingot and two sticks. Now we can also make a proven grafter. The proven grafter is made with a black steel nugget and two sticks in the carpenter with a little bit of seed oil. I want to see. Nope, we still can't make the proven frames. Oh well. But yeah, I guess I will be waiting for this guy to grow and hopefully we can get some saplings off of it. So I got done with my live stream here a little bit ago and we had a major glitch that we found within the live stream. So rather than telling you guys about it, I want to show you a few clips from the live stream. Now I have to apologize for the quality of the clips because uh, yeah, OBS was not giving a real good quality video for some reason. But yeah, let's go ahead and roll some clips and you guys will be amazed at what we found. We have another oak tree. Oh, come on. Oh, interesting. By breaking the sycamore, or the oak next to the sycamore, it gave us sycamore saplings. I had no idea that that one would happen. 
Oh, that is cool! So it utilizes the fast leaf decay mod on the leaves of the sycamore. Instead of just making them disappear like they do on terra firma craft. So when I do this, it's going to give us tons of saplings because all these leaves are connected. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got 16 saplings out of that. Whoa. That is a cool little glitch. So with that revelation came more ideas. So if I plant a terra firma craft tree, oh, we've got to try this. I am going to try it on a, a sycamore. If that works, oh man, that, I doubt it will, but if it does, no more black shears. Oh, now that, that is really a, a heck of a find. Because if it'll give us saplings from the sequoia, there's a chance we could get saplings from the acacia with that. And that would really be something. Because you can't get acacia. And so, practical experimentation began. Okay, so... Looks like this one here is low to the ground. But I don't know if it's low enough. But let's plant this tree right here. That should be outside of the growth range of the tree, of the oak tree, but at the same time it should be close enough to hit the leaves. Well, we're going to try this. We're going to see if we get saplings from this thing. Okay, well, here goes nothing. It broke the leaves. Oh, it did! It did! Oh my god, 29 saplings! Oh, jeez! Now that is cheating! Now, if you want to talk about cheating, holy god! Whoa! Ooh! Wow! Okay! Um... <laughs> we've got to try this on some other trees and see if it works. And with confirmation that it worked with Sequoia, it was time to go on to the unattainable sapling of Acacia. We're going to head down to the Acacia forest and see if we can get them there. Oh man, now that is one heck of a find. Alright, well let's plant some vanilla oaks around here. See if we can get them to grow up underneath these acacias. And see if this works on the acacia, because if it does, my gosh, have we found a heck of a glitch. Hi, Mr. Zombie. How are you? Oh, there is a there's a tree. There is a tree. Oh, please tell me it's touching the leaves. It looks like it is. Yes, this is on PC. Okay, they are touching there. So, is everybody ready for this? We're going to see if we can get acacia saplings with this glitch. Oh, I am very excited, to say the least. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, I see oak saplings. I don't see any acacia anywhere. It was definitely worth a shot, but I don't see any. I suppose because I can't get them with the black steel shears, I can't get them using this glitch either. Oh, wait, 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 what was that? What was that? Acacia saplings! Oh my god, guys! We can get the unachievable saplings with this 
We can get saplings that cannot be gotten any other way. Oh man, we just found one heck of a glitch. Oh god. Wow. Oh. We can get saplings that are unattainable. We're not supposed to be able to get these things. I can guarantee people are going to say I'm cheating them in and creative. Oh my gosh. This is what? Acacia saplings. There is no way to get these. None, none whatsoever. And I found a way. Ah, oh, good God! Arrow flies right past my face. That is, it is mega cheaty. Holy cow. We can replant this acacia forest. Wow. I had no clue that that was going to happen here. But it works. So unfortunately, the stream was cut short by technical difficulties. OBS crashed, and after I resumed the game, I had some major issues with the world not rendering properly, and the map was all screwed up. And so I just decided to end, but we were coming out here to try to get some of the other saplings that we don't have yet. And on the way out here, I managed to find a rich vein of limonite. So this has been very nice. If we look at how much we got here, uh, where is the limonite? Right here. So this is rich limonite. We have 878 of these. That is good for quite a bit over 1200 ingots of iron so i am really happy about that but yeah unfortunately i have run out of fuel in my mining drills i've also run out of steel to repair the drill head and kind of starting to run low on food as well but i think with this this has been an exciting enough episode for me. I'm going to have to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts about what I've been working on, be sure to leave that down in the comments. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Mixer.com slash Nathan Wastrel. I try to live stream every Sunday. doesn't always happen, but uh, if I do, it's usually at noon central standard time in the usa so yeah thanks for stopping by and i will see you guys next time bye